So Leo, let's see what's coming your way and of course as we shuffle the cards I'd much appreciate for you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And let's see what's coming your way. And we do have the judgment in reverse and the magician in reverse. So we have to pay attention. Might be some manipulation happening at this time. Um, might have been a decision where somebody was not fully honest. Actually, both energies um, are talking about dishonesty and self-interest. So, you know, Seven of Pentacles and the Magician in Reverse. We better be patient, not jump to conclusions, not jump to decisions. Um, not see the dark um, side all the time, but still, you know, be aware of... The High Priestess in Reverse and the Magician in Reverse. Somebody is going through a major transformation here. And we have revelations, awakenings. You know, with moments of insecurity, but still. And the Temperance might be a Sagittarius and the Magician in Reverse. So we might have, we have to be patient a little bit. We might have some manipulation again. Can be a Sagittarius, can be you being a little bit, you know, kind of your energy where we are disappointed. And the Two of Pentacles, and yet succeeding in uh, managing the situation, right? That's the Two of Pentacles. I don't know if you want to compromise. The Temperance was upright. Of course, can speak of balance, but maybe some of you, this is the month to compromise and put an end to a situation. The World in Reverse. And the Magician in Reverse. Somebody is manipulating us in such a way. We have to pay attention. But let's see, before we jump to conclusions, right? Let's give them the benefit of the doubt, right? So bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Again, a sense of somebody not telling the truth. It has a sense of, um, you know, somebody lying. Queen of Swords, she's not always in reverse, right? She's not always clear about stuff. She's not always uh, open, right? Can also be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. I don't know who has uh, these swords, but we do have, uh, guess what, the Nine of Swords in reverse, and we do have the Strength. So we know this is you, and boy, Two of Swords, you are surrounded by swords, Leo. So kind of like the universe is saying, you know, let's put that beautiful mind to rest. We do have the Two of Swords with the Nine of Swords in reverse, right? So let's not stress too much it's okay contemplating and thinking and planning and strategizing but let's not um you know nine of swords let's not lose sleep over something we do have yourself with the queen of swords in reverse and i kind of feel like it's letting go of a struggle of some sort nine of swords with the queen of swords in reverse this is a fight um that it's not worth fighting but let's see So past energies on your side, Leo, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Let's have the current um, the current uh, energies, you, your person, and the mutual, or the energy of the connection, for that matter, we'll see, depending on what we receive, and the possible outcome. Yeah, they asked for three, I know, wanted to come out, and we have the temperance again. Might really be a Sagittarius, the Temperance and the Ten of Cups. Somebody we might have had a family with, we might have been happy for a while. Um, but we'll see. Or maybe the, the universe saying, you know what? We are a little bit out of balance because the mind is just driving us crazy, right? So let's see, Leo. So in the past, on your side, we do have the Seven of Wands and the Moon. And it feels like like fighting despite the fear, right? Seven of Wands is really the energy of fighting, of not giving up, of staying strong, staying strong in your beliefs, uh, fighting for this person or, um, you know, fighting for this connection to happen, to continue. And we do have the moon. Of course, can be Pisces energy and you might be dealing with the Pisces and boy, it was a hell of a fight, right? To keep this going. And uh, we saw the Magician in Reverse um, all through shuffling and it kind of tells me, um, you know, this energy of continuing to fight even if we, when we are not sure about, right? And we had doubts and the gut feeling was saying, mm, maybe, uh, maybe you shouldn't and yet you, you kept doing it, right? And we don't have the strength. So you remained true to yourself and your light and your desire and, and what you wanted. And what makes you you, right, Leo? And um, 
and we have you we have you like you know in the energy of protecting uh, this connection and this person despite all the doubts in the world and all the fears that we might have had and all the stress with the nine of swords and and um, you know um, just staying there right now this person of yours they do have the tower and the five of cups in reverse so a hell of an explosion on their side right a hell of them um, a need to rebuild, a need to take from ground up their life and put piece by piece by piece together. Um, I don't know if um, that was a separation, um, you know, I, I don't feel, I feel like more an, uh, of an event in their life that really forced them, he or she, right, to, um, to rebuild their whole world, to reinvent, I don't know, what I'm, what I'm hearing is more reinventing. And because of it, a lot of guilt and responsibility, five of cups, and a lot of miss and a lot of um, mourning, right? The loss of you, maybe in the process they've lost a piece of their life and also um, yourself. Um, and it feels like, you know, they resigned to this. It has this energy of um, resigning to whatever is happening to them for a while and, and, and staying in um, like deep emotions, right? And not seeing what they were supposed to see. Um, so mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the Nine of Cups and the Hermit Virgo energy, but I kind of feel that communication happened anyways, or communication kept going. The Hermit in reverse is really somebody, you know, uh, probably being away, but yet opening lines of communication, which or keeping lines of communication open. With the Hermit in reverse, maybe not tons of introspection, but definitely communication and not being isolated. And the Nine of Cups, right? Somehow you got your wish fulfillment in what happened. They got their wish fulfillment and the communication was not broken. I'm, I don't feel it was. But the disruption was big, right? And you um, stood right there and you kept believing. That's the Seven of Wands, right? Keep fighting and keep believing it. Um, despite moments of, you know, I'm going to lose this person or whatever is happening is going to break um, us. That's the, the energy and the stress that you went through. And a lot of contemplation and a lot of thought and, and swords, right? We've um, been we've been into minds about. So where are we right now? We do have the Five of Wands and the Ace of Swords. We struggle with communication over here. Probably somebody stopped after a tower moment and a lot of emotions. Maybe in the current moment somebody might have stopped. Or there is something that... Um, we talk about that it uh, is making you doubt and struggle and have your internal your internal fight with the five of wands your internal struggle whatever comes to mind and whatever you hear makes you um kind of doubt even more or fight even more or you know a sense of um struggling with your own thoughts right um it's a big energy here actually of uh, of not having a lot of control over the thoughts and and that um you know, Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords is a lot of uh, painful thoughts for some of you. And the Two of Swords, the contemplation, is it true, is it not true? What am I supposed to do? And a lot, in, you know, being, again, um, into minds about. So let's see them. They do have the Six of Wands and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody, <laughs> Nine of Wands is a very self-protective energy, and yet it is in reverse, right? So somebody is trying to be more open. They are trying to be more open. And to have to have some form of success with a challenge. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, right? So they are going through rebuilding and challenges with the tower and the Nine of Wands, right? Hurt by the disruption of their whole world. And trying to have a sense of victory with the Six of Wands. Trying to... Um, you know, overcome challenges of, of some sort and also ones and cups, right? What I need to bring out into the world as creation and how am I going to do it um, emotionally, right? With the five of cups. So um, they have their plate full, uh, I would say, Leo. Their plate is full in so many ways. And I'm still recovering, that is no doubt. So mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the sun, and I love this um, Leo because it's right at the core of the reading. And we do have the seven of cups. So I kind of feel that we are a little bit distant, but a little bit more clear, right? That's a seven of cups in reverse. We 
uh, might have been confused about this connection we might have um, had moments of fear we do have the moon upright and the sun in reverse and the sun in reverse is the shadows of the moon so kind of like the same dark energy but at least we have a sense of clarity right we might not be at our happiest moment that's a sun in reverse so we might not have but at least we are clear about something and i kind of feel leo that you are clear about yourself more and more um which allows you a little bit of distance right we have you in reverse um over here right in the middle of the reading and also in the middle of this connection with this person so we might have well probably you struggle with your mind that uh, it's a strong energy of um of not knowing what's true and not true with the queen of swords right not knowing where um but we have the seven of cups in reverse we are more and more narrowing down that's a seven of cups right we narrow down and we get to the uh, the bottom of it and to the truth the um you know the um essential one let's see the outcome of it we do have the hierophant and we do have the chariot in reverse um taurus energy and cancer energy but i kind of feel that we are stuck to this commitment i don't think you are moving <laughs> away from this commitment we know a leo can be extremely loyal and uh, the chariot is i'm not going anywhere and the hierophant is long-term commitment this is um you know the um a life spent together quite traditional now this person of yours king of swords in reverse and now we know where the king of swords comes from we do have the eight of pentacles and the queen of pentacles in reverse so they might be caught in between energies uh, gemini libra or aquarius Taurus, will go to capricorn and we have them not moving a finger um eight of pentacles in reverse is not focusing on what needs to be focused and not working at this point of what needs to be done it's just we have them right um opening up slowly nine of wands in reverse we have them healing and their plate is so full that they don't know which way to start working on mutual energy is between the two of you we do have the eight of cups and the nine of pentacles in reverse right we need to step back the universe is kind of saying we need to step back from this commitment just a bit eight of cups right somebody has a mission eight of cups is the um, um the call from the universe so somebody needs to go through something and they need to go through this um they are not passing with flying colors right eight of pentacles in reverse is not putting the effort at the right place queen of pentacles king of swords not have the same clarity and not working on their stability so they are it feels like somebody really on their knees um leo somebody really like knocked down right um at this point and we kind of need with the eight of cups is you know mutual energies for both of you um i feel it's kind of guidance it's like now that we know we are not happy with what's going on now that we know how about we step back a bit um of course we have a stack in this commitment but still emotionally we can put some perspective on it right now that we know And if you're wondering, if somebody here is wondering, Leo, why they are not talking while well, they are going through hell, so why struggle with them not talking, right? I'm not sure they have something particularly wise to say at this point. You know, they are just, you know, um, Nine of Wands, um, the Wounded Warrior, Six of Wands, a sense of victory, it's a trying to have like small victories every single day. And, um, and really not focusing on what they need to focus on so why the struggle right and um it's um leo we don't have the two of swords and the nine of swords in reverse why worry right two of swords is the contemplation of what makes you struggling and it's the mind nine of swords right and then we have you staying strong and it's like yeah but why worry what is going on is going on in their life and whatever i mean they got knocked off right so let's ask for some guidance the question is always the same should we say yay should we say nay and the universe says this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you see so they might be the one deal but let go of control issues 
allow the situation to unfold naturally enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so they might come around actually for the holidays healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive it says your parents but can be anyone can be this person of yours and we do have expressed your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so Leo, I don't feel you are guided away from this person, but we need to let go of a little bit of, um, of, of stuck energies, right? And we heal and we let go, we express our love. I kind of feel that you are guided, you know, to kind of be cool about. Say whatever you need to say and allow, give time, time, you know, this is the energy I'm picking up. Now let's see, oh, I was um, taking, okay, so maybe that's what I need to do. Um, I took the energies we need to put back into the flow, but we'll go back to the other um, love energies. So we have, this could be the one in denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And we started in the, in, in the past with a lot of fear, the moon and the seven of wands. Blocking out of fear, fighting despite the fear, right? And now it's denial. They might be the one, you know. So replace your um, your fear with the insight of awareness. So we have two wanted to come out. We do have willingness. Let go of control issue comes with willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is lovely. Huh? We do have surrender to your full power and we have the lion and we have the strength as the overall energy. So you are the strongest one in this situation. You know, you are good. You are in a strong position. So your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small, right? It's a turning point in your life now. And, um, and it's not this connection at this point. It's just something that you need to turn your power on, right? To go and collect. Healing family issues, and now we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So you have healing family issues and opportunities to learn whatever happened. Actually was not a failure, right? So we might have messed up, um, but it's an opportunity to heal something in December. And we do have expressed your love and acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. So let's have, um, let's see what else is there for us. We do have, this could be the one denial and intimacy. So I don't know who's denying intimacy to the other person or what exactly we need to, but intimacy is something, is something we are called to work on at this time. We do have luminosity, which is awakening awareness spirituality having taking the higher road in this one it is an opportunity right of enlightenment whatever happened it's a good um time to accept the lessons and the learnings that came with it we do have the distorted feminine so somebody needs to work um on on themselves at this um at this point at this time we are not acting from a place of higher self when it comes to this connection and um, it might be connected to intimacy, might be connected to awareness. And we do have healing family issues and forgiveness. Absolutely somebody here again. And again, might be a feminine energy in your life that we need to forgive Leo and uh, move forward at this time. And bottom of the deck, the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. You have expressed your love and focus on love. I don't feel you are guided away, not at all, but there is um, some forgiveness that needs to happen over here, some healing, letting go of control of control issues, giving time, time, and just being you, right? Just being you as the overall energy. Let's have some general guidance and then we say goodbye. So, um... What do we have? New partner. 
A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestra orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. So Leo, maybe the universe is bringing you actually a new partner till the mess in, in this one uh, person's life is over. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You'll recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. So somebody might be sending you actually a new partner or a new chance, a new possibility, a new encounter. Why not? And we do have heart chakra. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. And bottom of the deck, be honest with yourself. You have heart chakra, new partner, and be honest with yourself, Leo. So maybe somebody here is, offer, is offered a chance. It's interesting, it's completely different than the whole um, guidance here. Might be picking up two energies here. So Leo, be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know. <laughs> And you'll know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. So for some of you, you'll be sent someone. Uh, this is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm picking up. And this is how I'm receiving this energy for you, Leo. You will have a new partner and you'll have to follow your heart and you'll know better. Um, and then we have the person you connect with and their life is a mess and you are guided to forgive and express love. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying we have two completely different guidance. One being sent a new partner and the other one, the other energy being just step back for a bit and allow them time to heal, you know. So, um, Leo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.